In a world characterized by geopolitical tensions and economic interdependencies, energy resources have always played a pivotal role in shaping international relations. Among these, oil has been a central player, with countries often wielding their oil production and export capabilities as tools of foreign policy. Two major players in the global oil market, China and Saudi Arabia, have made headlines recently with a decision that could have far-reaching consequences. They have jointly announced sanctions on Israel, cutting off their oil supplies. This decision marks a significant departure from conventional international diplomacy and has the potential to reshape the global energy landscape, impact economies, and ignite geopolitical tensions. In this essay, we will delve into the motivations behind this extraordinary move, its potential consequences, and the broader implications for the global order. To understand the gravity of this situation, it is essential to grasp the dynamics at play within the China-Saudi Arabia-Israel triangle. China, the world's largest oil importer, and Saudi Arabia, a key oil producer and exporter, have long maintained a strategic partnership centered on oil trade. On the other hand, Israel, a small but technologically advanced nation in the Middle East, has been a subject of contention and conflict with its Arab neighbors, including Saudi Arabia, for decades. The China-Saudi Arabia-Israel Triangle is a complex web of relationships shaped by geopolitics, energy, and historical tensions. China and Saudi Arabia's decision to sanction Israel stems from their shared geopolitical interests. Both nations have sought to increase their influence in the Middle East and assert their roles as major global players. By taking a stance against Israel, they aim to appease the Arab world, which has long been critical of Israel's policies towards Palestinians. This move aligns with their broader strategy to gain political and economic leverage in the region. Saudi Arabia, as the guardian of Islam's holiest sites and a key player in the Arab world, is highly sensitive to issues concerning Palestinians. By sanctioning Israel, Saudi Arabia aims to bolster its image as a protector of Arab interests and garner support from its Arab allies in the region. This move could also serve to distract from internal issues and consolidate domestic support. China's growing influence in the Middle East has been driven by its insatiable appetite for energy resources and its ambitious Belt and Road Initiative, BRI. The BRI involves massive infrastructure projects across Asia, Africa, and Europe, and the Middle East plays a crucial role in this initiative. By aligning with Saudi Arabia and taking a stance against Israel, China can solidify its presence in the region and ensure the security of its energy supply routes. The immediate consequence of China and Saudi Arabia's decision to sanction Israel is the disruption of the global oil market. Saudi Arabia is one of the world's largest oil exporters, and China is the largest oil importer. This sanctions-induced oil embargo could lead to a spike in oil prices affecting economies worldwide. Countries heavily reliant on Saudi oil, including the United States and Europe, would face energy shortages and price hikes potentially leading to inflation and economic instability. The Middle East is already a region plagued by instability and conflict. The sanctions on Israel could exacerbate tensions in the area, leading to a potential escalation of hostilities. Israel, feeling isolated and under threat, may respond militarily, potentially drawing in other regional actors. Such a scenario could further destabilize an already volatile region, with consequences reaching far beyond the Middle East. The sanctions also underscore the vulnerabilities of countries heavily dependent on oil. As the world is increasingly moving towards renewable and sustainable energy sources to combat climate change, reliance on fossil fuels becomes a strategic liability. This situation may serve as a wake-up call for countries to accelerate their transition to cleaner energy alternatives, reducing their dependence on oil-producing nations. China and Saudi Arabia's joint sanctions send a powerful message of diplomatic isolation to Israel. This isolation may prompt Israel to reevaluate its policies and approach towards resolving the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. It could also encourage other nations to take a more critical stance on Israel's actions, potentially leading to renewed international efforts to broker a lasting peace in the region. China's alignment with Saudi Arabia against Israel underscores its growing influence in the Middle East and its willingness to use its economic clout for geopolitical purposes. This move could pave the way for China to become a more significant player in shaping regional dynamics, challenging the traditional roles of the United States and Russia in the Middle East. 
The China-Saudi Arabia-Israel triangle is just one example of how alliances in the international arena are evolving. Traditional alliances are being tested and nations are increasingly pursuing their interests, sometimes in alignment with unexpected partners. This could lead to a more fluid and unpredictable geopolitical landscape. The sanctions highlight the importance of energy security for nations worldwide. Countries will likely reassess their energy strategies, seeking to diversify their sources and reduce their vulnerability to geopolitical disruptions in the oil market. This could accelerate the transition to renewable energy and the development of domestic energy sources. The global community will face significant diplomatic challenges in managing the fallout from these sanctions. Diplomatic efforts will be needed to de-escalate tensions in the Middle East, address the energy needs of affected nations, and navigate the complex web of relationships in the region. Furthermore, the China-Saudi Arabia-Israel sanctions raise important questions about the role of international institutions and mechanisms in resolving conflicts and managing global crises. The United Nations, in particular, faces a significant test in its ability to mediate and find diplomatic solutions to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, given the involvement of major players like China and Saudi Arabia. The United States, traditionally a staunch ally of Israel, now finds itself in a delicate diplomatic position. It must balance its commitment to Israel's security with the need to maintain productive relationships with China and Saudi Arabia, both of which are critical to its economic and geopolitical interests. Navigating this diplomatic tightrope will require deft diplomacy and strategic decision-making. For Israel, the sanctions serve as a stark reminder of its vulnerability in the international arena. While it has enjoyed strong support from the United States, these sanctions reveal the limits of its diplomatic leverage, particularly when faced with the combined economic weight of China and Saudi Arabia. Israel may need to reconsider its approach to regional conflicts and seek more inclusive and negotiated solutions to its long-standing disputes. On the flip side, the sanctions have the potential to reignite international efforts to resolve the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The global community, including the United Nations and regional organizations, may seize this opportunity to re-engage in diplomacy, pushing for a peaceful resolution that addresses the legitimate concerns of both Israelis and Palestinians. The sanctions also highlight the importance of energy security in a rapidly changing world. As nations grapple with the consequences of the sanctions and their reliance on oil, there may be a renewed emphasis on energy diversification and sustainability. This could lead to increased investments in renewable energy sources, advancements in energy efficient technologies, and a re-evaluation of global energy supply chains. In the midst of these developments, it is crucial to consider the impact on ordinary citizens. Rising oil prices resulting from the sanctions can have a cascading effect on the cost of living, transportation, and industrial production in many countries. The burden of such economic disruptions often falls disproportionately on vulnerable populations, making it imperative for governments to implement policies that mitigate the adverse effects. In conclusion, the joint sanctions by China and Saudi Arabia against Israel are a significant geopolitical event with wide-ranging implications. These sanctions underscore the complexities of modern international relations, where traditional alliances can shift and economic interests can take precedence over historical loyalties. The consequences, both immediate and long-term, touch on global energy markets, regional stability, diplomatic relationships, and the pursuit of conflict resolution. The global community must respond to these developments with careful diplomacy a commitment to international law and norms, and a renewed focus on addressing the root causes of conflicts in the Middle East. As the world grapples with the fallout from these sanctions, it becomes evident that the landscape of international politics is in a state of flux, and nations must adapt to these changing dynamics to navigate an ever-complex global order. The path forward will require cooperation, compromise, and a renewed commitment to building a more stable and equitable world, Thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure the notification bell is turned on so you don't miss a video.